Hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera and welcome to this AX2 Pixel Bar product walkthrough. First things first, it is of course a battery light, which makes it super versatile for you to bring wherever you want and without thinking about cables and wiring. Charging time is 5 hours and on maximum brightness we then have a run time of 3 hours. The AX2 Pixel Bar comes with our famous Titan LED engine, just as you know it from the Titan Tube. That means we have the RGB Mint Amber, we have a wide range all the way down to 1750 Kelvin and all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin. CRI and TLCI is 96 or above, so whether you want to install it in a studio, have it lighting up against a wall, you have great colors to work with. Since the AX2 does have the Titan LED engine, you can simply just type in RGB, HSI, X and Y and also filter gels. These are accessible from the display behind of the light or even in the Astera app. So it's basically up to you to choose what kind of color space you want to work with to achieve a certain color. It has optimized lenses for wall washing so you will also see just as in this video that we have color mixing right above the fixture that just mixes perfectly for your wall washing job. Furthermore, the AX2 pixel bars comes with a native beam angle of 21 degrees. When we talk about controlling the light, it all stays the same just as you know from all the other Astera lights. We do have the Astera app simply just with the Astera box, a tablet or your smartphone, blue mode the light and connect it to the app so we can create groups, change colors, adjust brightness and also edit effects and add effects to the app that fits to your occasion or to the show or set you are doing. We of course have built in CRMX and wireless DMX just as all the other Astera lights. As I said, the 50 cm version have 8 individually controllable pixels and the 1 meter version 16 individually controllable pixels. We also have the option to wire the lights with power and also DMX. We made a jump cable with PowerCon in out and the same with the DMX so you can link them together in case you want to control the DMX by cable on the AX2s. The AX2 Pixel Bar is of course IP65 rated. That means that you can use them outdoor in rain. We just need to remember the rubber caps that also are to cover the power control one and also the DMX. We added a really nice feature to the Pixel Bar. We call it Bar Connect Plus. Simply just means that we can quickly connect the Pixel Bars together. So let's say you are washing a wall. You will also at this time have a consistent pixel pitch over the whole line in case you do some pixel or just having them all lighting up the same color. As you see here we have the male side here and of course on the other side which is this part we have the female side. So simple and easy we can just take this one put it on top here and then simply just click it in and now we have that done. And when we want to take them apart, you see the little pin right here, then simply just push it, lift one of the lights and then we can take them apart from each other. When we build a long row of pixel bars, we also want to be able to adjust the angle just so we have a nice and smooth wall washing. And therefore we have this accessory also, we call it the, the feed, multifunctional feed, and it makes it super easy to adjust and simply just angle a whole row of pixel bars. It's only necessary to have two feet on the first light and then one on the coming lights that we connect to the row of lights, basically just as you see here. These are mounted on our airline track which you see here down in the bottom and also here on the side we have airline track. The AX2 also have a beautiful side which is this one and we of course have some different accessories which we will come more into later that we can mount the AX2. There is an integrated IR module in each one of the sites so they can basically talk together. What you see here in the video is that on the first light in the row we set up the DMX settings 
the pixel amount we want to use, the DMX profile and also the DMX address. Simply just hold this Astera logo, the magic button down for approximately three seconds. Then you will see the whole row is blinking green. Also means that you now have addressed the whole row of lights of pixel bars. The cool thing is that the lights know what position they are in. So simply just start from the left side and it will address the other lights accordingly. We of course have a lot of accessories for the pixel bus so you can be flexible and mount it wherever you want. The first we saw was the feet. If we want to wash the wall, have them standing on the ground. We also have the track pin, which you might know from the Nux power station. Also have the airline track. Then we also have the track hanger, just in case you want to have them hanging downwards. The track pin is of course good if you want to mount it with a super clamp or maybe in a grip head just as I did in this studio right here. We did make a barn door for the pixel bar both for the 50 centimeter version and also the one meter version. They have a rail here on the side actually both sides so in case you want them to work as a glare shield or maybe you want to control the spill light or maybe even the beam a bit that's the reason why we made the barn doors for the pixel bar. Since we have the option to connect them together with the bar connect, we also have an accessory that makes it possible for us to hang it in a vertical setup. Maybe in a theater, maybe a concert, eye candy hanging up on the stage. We do have the fly bar for this. The limit here is four meters, so we can hang four of the one meter one and we can hang eight of the 50 centimeter one. The fly bar is actually mounted all together here on both of the airline tracks. So it will be mounted simply just like this. Boom, slide it. And then we take the lower part and slide it. Now we can make a vertical setup. And of course, when we hang it, we also have the holes here to decide the angle of the row of lights. We do have a sheet available on our website where you can find these angles. And as you see in the video here, we have the fly bar hanging just like this with a track hanger underneath, simply just to safety wire it. And where the lights are connected, we use two track hangers and then connect it with a safety wire to secure it. We designed a flight case for both lengths, the 50 centimeter and the one meter version. For the one meter one holds four pieces and for the 50 centimeter version holds eight pieces. There's power distribution built in the case. As you see right here, we simply just plug in the power con, plug it into the four lights or the eight lights of the 50 centimeter one and we can charge them overnight. As you see here up on top, we do have a compartment for eight barn doors, just to have it by hand in case you want to have a glare shield or maybe even to get rid of some of the spill light. We do have this little compartment for the track pin in case you want to mount it in a grip head or even with a super clamp. Since we do have two different lengths, the big one, the one meter one, have 16 individual controllable pixels and for the 50 centimeter one have eight. You can of course change this in the app or even in the menu of the light. As you know from the Titan tube, the Helios tube and also the Hyperion tube. So I hope you learned everything there is to know about the AX2 pixel bar. Thank you for watching. See you.